so tender. It's a place where, if you want, you can find the love of your life, or you'll at least find someone who's pretending that they love you so that they can bang you. All you gotta do to find the love of your life on Tinder is post a picture of your boobs like half showing and some guy will message you and be like, I love you. I don't know what it is about you, but I just find myself so attracted to you. I know you didn't even show your face in the profile picture, but man, there's just something about you. Like I just, I can tell it was love at first boob. I call it a Tinderella story. It's like Cinderella, just with a lot more anal sex. This is your bad at Tinder. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Oops. That's bullshit. She knew this would work anyway. She was like, the profile does not matter when you got a picture like this. She knew no one was gonna read the profile. Uh, yeah, if you're into chins, probably not the best place to start. That poor bastard. Fuck off. I bet this girl still got so many matches and nobody fucked off. I guarantee no guys fucked off. It's not the size of the boat, it's the motion of the ocean that matters. You know he's a true winner because he's got a Hello Kitty tattoo on his ass. This guy's basically setting himself up for failure. He's like, check out my Hello Kitty ass tattoo. By the way, I also have a small dick. I'm not into working out or healthy eating. I am a whore. Horseback rider, dog owner, photographer, aspiring gym rat. If your dog is cute, I'll probably look through your photos twice and I'll still kiss you after you give me a rim job. And I do a lot of yoga. So to sum up this profile, she basically just said, I love the taste of my own asshole. Thick black bitches only. Chill with all those snow bunnies. I'm a beautiful person inside and out, but I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm in need of a sugar daddy. A man I can please and obey him 24-7 while I get paid for it. I don't like being told no. This is me. I heart Christian Loeb. Buy me a pair. If you're broke, please don't match me. I like everything in advance before we meet. So she's basically a hooker. She's using Tinder to get Johns because she's a hooker. She said, I want a sugar daddy, a man I can please and obey while I get paid for it. Just trying to be a hooker without actually having to say you're a hooker. That's not what Tinder's, well, I guess, yeah, that's what Tinder's for. So she's using it right. She's, she's doing a great job. Just doing this because my boyfriend did. He said it doesn't mean anything. Message the shit out of me. Hashtag America. I'm looking for a guy who is into me so much that he wants to have sex on the first date and he tries. Love a guy who doesn't respond to texts, especially ones he initiates. A guy who wants a weak girl who with a chuckle will believe every line he feeds her. A guy who is active slash busy so he will forget about plans and promises. A guy who will disappear after a few days or weeks at most. I'm I'm looking for a guy who will send a dick pic. Points if recently out of a relationship or currently in one. She's got realistic standards. What the fuck is that a picture? <laughs> oh god, she's farting her own face out of her ass. That's how you get a match on Tinder. I bet she still gets matches, because she's female. Dudes are desperate. Take it from a male. Guys are desperate. They're just like, whoa, shit. A face on an ass? This girl knows how to party. I was wondering if I could put my penis in your face your ass face. I appreciate the finer things in life, such as having no pimples and getting out of work early and riding on a giant cat naked. Again. Why is this your profile picture? How are you gonna get matches? What the fuck? This is just weird. And you know what's funny? Like, as a guy, this profile picture would never work. But if this was a naked girl riding on a giant cat, She'd still get matches. I know, I, am, I might sound sexist, but it's true. A girl could put pretty much anything on Tinder because it's like, I think the ratio from girls to guys is probably like 10% girls and like 90% guys trying to find a girl to fuck. Her Pia, I can't believe I'm on this app again. Tingling, burning, intolerable itching, painful blisters, Harry Potter nerd. Talking about me will be awkward enough. Let's tell everyone we met at a bar. So she's herpes. She is herpes, that's amazing. I didn't know herpes was actually a person. I guess it had to start somewhere. No, oh, what the fuck is that? Actually, the dog's kind of working for me. <laughs> and the girl. Whoa, this is... Whoa. Why is this turning me on right now? Why does this sick shit always turn me on? I was gonna take down the Christmas lights. But I thought, hey, why not be a little bit more festive for the rest of December, even though it's not a Christmas video. That's my excuse. Really, I was just too fucking lazy to take them down.
So thanks for watching my You're Bad at Tinder video. If you like this series, you want to see more videos, hit the like button to support it. Leave some feedback all down below there. Other than that, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because that's how you learn about me or that's how you get notified of my new videos. And if you haven't clicked on that bell, because that's, I feel like something we need to say now is you got to click on the bell and click all notifications and... I'm sure you've heard other people explaining this. If not, someone can explain it in the comments. That way you're actually subscribing. So you gotta subscribe and then you gotta click on the bell and subscribe again, basically. It's stupid. It's so stupid. But do it because then you'll see my videos when I upload. We are now at 1,247,000 subscribers. Holy shit. On our way to 2 million. Let's fucking do it. Love you guys.